So what I like about it, um, the cinematography was pretty dope. It was pretty high quality for like a TV show. But most streaming services at this point like have like excellent cinematography. So that's not mm-hmm. too big of a surprise. Um, I mean, it was more of a surprise when it came out, I guess, because that was like way earlier. I mean, I don't know one thing. I mean, this came out what 2016? twenty sixteen. Not like whoa, whoa. Like what, 2018 probably, 2019? Something like that. Like, it's a, it's still, like, a little surprising, especially for something like... It was just before... Because it, this was, like, the first big Disney original. I mean, but, like, the stream service in general, the culture has, like, great tunes off mm-hmm. Like, all the streaming shows, like, from, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know there's what I mean? There's a lot of... There's a lot of beautiful. As, yeah, especially, like, all, like, the nods in the last couple of years, so... Yeah. It's pretty normal that night. I mean, it looks good now, you know Like, what I mean? all those Star Trek shows look fucking beautiful, man. Yeah, like, 20... So, like, yeah, so it's just that... That was different. Like, I don't know one thing that they're definitely doing is... I saw, like, in behind the scenes, stuff like that with John Favreau. They were doing, like, um... They were doing the LED screens, so, like, instead of, like, um... Instead of okay, yeah, instead of green screen, they're instead of green screen, they're doing LED screens, and LED screens they can see like um, it's hard to tell, it's pretty tell the difference, but I guess it does just look, I guess, but it does, it does have like a little subtle effect on the images, like especially like with the wide shots at least. Mm-hmm. It's almost like cinema magic. I like it. Uh, I think it's definitely part of the future <laughs> going forward, and I'm down. I was really interested to see what Boba Fett could do as a character, and it's like, because you heard, I heard, you heard like, I got excited when you talking about like, how deadly they are, so I'm like, oh yeah, I want to see them in action for sure. Yeah. Like, that's that's also because, I mean, back, I'm like, like I'm not as action as I was like back in the days, because action excited me. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, it's more about story, but hey, I'm yeah. down to see somebody being badass, man. Because the Mandalorians, like, I mean, maybe this is old continuity yeah. stuff, but... The Mandalorians were so badass that they almost killed. That they could. The Jedi, you're yeah, telling. like it took the Jedi. It took like the toughest Jedi turning to the dark side to take him out. So. Yo, this is crazy for something on TV, for, for like a show, you know? Yeah, this is like very movie level. Yeah. Like he's just like climbing off this fucking... Like how long would it take them to film this? Like, Jesus. This like... has been almost a whole week of filming, dude. Yeah, like he's climbing up this giant thing. Like, that's on a not moving CG. Platform. That, yeah, that's yeah. not CG. Like, it, there might be some camera. I mean, of course, of course this thing is not real, but like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, but it's a moving platform, though. Yeah, there's and he has clearly, action stunts, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's clearly actual moving parts there. And so, the building like, is set as intricate so as like. So all that rock was, yeah. was likely fake. All this other. A lot of this other has to be real to a certain degree. Like, that would have been intricate and taking a lot of time to just arrange. Yeah. Fucking job, just chucking shit at him. Oh, right in the fingers. Oh yeah, I forgot to have grappling hooks. You really should have used that earlier. Right? That is chucking shit like children. Like this, <laughs> stop <are>. chucking. <laughs> it's so lame. <laughs> it's so. No, Dave, you have guns. Oh. Oh, that fucking... fucking the one that got him right in the Yeah, chest. yeah, that, that was a good hit. I mean, he's wearing a metal, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Shit! Jesus. <laughs> he gives no fucks. Yeah, I'm about to make two words out of my mouth. Like, he gives no fucking fucks. Oh, that's smart, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, did he fall? Oh, no. <laughs> God! Wait, if you had guns, why weren't you using them, you fucking shithead? Oh. Well. Oh. Oh. That, oh, he broke his back. Yep, That's God that broke he hurts. his back. Oh. It's gonna be the ache of something big and nasty, isn't it?
Oh. Oh, I thought that was a K. That was a bean. Oh. Oh. You see what they did to his armor? Shit. God, it's Space Rhino. So, so these, these are common space rhinos. That's is what I mean. What else are you gonna call it? I, 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 oh, I, I thought you actually. Oh, I, I thought you actually called about what they actually called. No, no, they would never call it space something. Wait, that, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah, that's not. That's very not Star Wars thing to do. They'd give it some weird ass name that doesn't that doesn't sound like anything. Like the Kiba. Yeah. Yeah, like that's more on point of what they would something they would call it. Like they have like species like the like Twilix and shit. The Twilix? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they have Twilix and Wookiees and Jawas. That's what Star Wars has. This man was ready to die right now. Mm -hmm. Saved by a baby. Except for this fate. The force. Those are all you other people have force in them. Yeah, I think they're like all the ones you've seen have all used the force, so. This isn't too surprising to me. <laughs> Damn, look at that fucking chest piece. It's just like... It's all broken and shit. So who, who who are like the Jedi in terms of like just the way the world views them in, in Star Trek itself? I'm sorry, Star Wars itself. <laughs> well, at, well at this point, this is like well after you know this is like well after all the Jedi were like kind of murdered the fuck out of. Like they probably would just view like the average citizen probably just view Jedi as like traitors to like traitors from way back in the day, or that or they might not even be think that they're real at all. Is Han was a little confused with that Jedi were real. Yeah, I remember that much. But like, I mean, just in terms of like, just how they viewed them in terms of like, just like who they are. Not, not very favorably. Like, again, like, when Palpatine killed all the Jedi and like, forced them to seclusion, he, there was like a lot of propaganda against him. Like, hey, they are the, these are assholes who betray the Republic. They steal children. They are not to be trusted. Mm. Uh, report them on sites. Okay, but other than that, like, so Jedi are usually like are like known as like the baddest motherfuckers on, on, in the galaxy. Yeah, they would be known as like really tough people. Like, there wouldn't be like someone wouldn't want to actually fuck with a Jedi in mo and yeah, pretty uh, much anyway. Are they pretty much just like ancient warriors that like master the Force beyond like comprehension? Pretty much. I guess. I guess that's one way they would view them. 
That's case, why not? Why not Boba Fett and them would try to train them, try to learn how to use the Force well? Well, they might not be. Thing is, like the Jedi also have a very, very bad reputation, so they probably wouldn't even think all that shit was real. I mean, then why do some people? If the Force isn't everyone, why do some people just have the natural gift to do things with it, like Yoda or like the Skywalkers? Like, well, Star Wars has been very, very back. I knew that was in Note. I yeah. fucking knew. But anyways, yeah, Star Wars has been very, very back and forth on this for a long time. Where sometimes it's my glory, and sometimes it's just it, it, it does. It's for everyone, you just have to tap into it. But basically, the gist is that basically the, the the important thing to remember is that the Force is like you know it's kind of like he and Dragon Ball. It's there theoretically; anyone can learn to use it. But you know, like people people just don't know how, and yet yeah, only it's like. So I, I think that's have a connection to it. The thing is, I let I kind of think of it as like you know how like some people are just born kind of smarter than others. Yeah. Like that. Like not to say that the dumber person can't get a lot smarter and improve over time, but sometimes people just sometimes people are just like born with like a high capacity to retain to retain things, or just like naturally a little more intelligent off the gates. Not to say that they'll that the that the person who starts off smart will always be smarter than the person who starts off dumb, but one just has a hit start in that one particular direction. I like how some people just, some people are just like, have a gift for drawing, you know? Like some people are just like, kind of so, naturally good at that, while other people have to learn to get good at that over time. Right, so so essentially it's just a gift that you could possibly learn if you work hard enough at it, but some people are naturally just have a, a more knack for it. Yeah. And those are pretty much the Jedi's. Most of them, like the Jedi's are more, well, no, because the Jedi's are, like, they're, like, trained to do this since they're children, for the most part. There's not an, a ton of... An- but, but, and, well, what about Anakin? Because Anakin... Anakin had, like... Even, like, Anakin trained with Obi-Wan for years before he became, like, really, really adept at the Force. Like, yeah. Qui-Gon sensed a little something in him. He's like, oh, I see potential in this one. That's not saying... Oh, this guy is going is immediately a flippy dippy Matt Jai Master right off the bat. It's more I see a lot of room for growth here. Mm. It's not quite the same thing. The only the only examples I could think of off the top of my head where it is that a person is just naturally really really good at well explanation come mm. for the newer movies yeah. where Ray and where Ray and Kylo Ren they're both just kind of good at it and without a ton of explanation why especially Ray which is like. That's just kind of weird. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get that. That's what I get that. That's what they trying to go with, but it's just still it's kind of a weird choice. Yeah. Um. That was the last episode. That was the second episode of the Mandalorian. What did you think about this episode? Overall, I thought it was fun. It was like a nice little, it, like it was a nice little adventure. But even it felt, it, even like, I feel like it was mostly just there just to set. Just establish that uh, Baby Yoda has the Force, or can pretty much. Use it. That's like the only thing I can really from here that I really think benefited the overall narrative. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think anything here really pushed me further in any kind of really no. exciting way. But it was. I mean, but it. it I mean, it was a still a well done episode. Yeah. A great, great, great cinematography, great set design, great like effects, mm-hmm. great special effects. I mean, the use yeah. of the LED screen they really put out the work here. I really loved. Uh, I really, lo- I really loved the Mandalorian. It was just climbing up the fucking. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a good sequence. That and that was yeah, really that was really good. Well. So from far production value, this episode really crushed it. Between the story, it didn't really do much for that end, but I mean, but it did build up certain things. So yeah, yeah. as I said, first I was like some interest. As the show progresses, I think we're gonna really, really, really get the payoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, I because like while well, we're getting some good individual stories before, I would want to see a little more of that overarching narrative because we. Oh, right now all we have is that there are other bounty hunters that are here to tackle the tackle Baby Yoda, and Baby Yoda has the Force. Yeah. Like, okay, let's see where this is going from here. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, like are there gonna be other Force users that are highly involved in this? Who knows? No idea. Actually, I don't either. I really don't. This is like we're like so blind. We already got past all the bits were spoiled. Yep. Yeah. Let's be sure for a minute. Mm-hmm. But that being said, folks, thanks again for joining us. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you all next time. Yes, Yes, guys, please. please. See you around. Hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Stay Stay tuned. Peace out. Later, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry, but your answer's wrong. 
I'm afraid you have to talk to Mr. Bang Bang now!